Hey, this is Annie and today we're going to be doing a super duper easy face filter tutorial and it's going to be from your doodle into a AR face filter for Instagram or Facebook and this is the example of mine's right here. Um, of course, it's going to be a lot simpler than that because it isn't going to have the tap to change into three different design in my case, but instead it's just going to be one simple design on a face. So let's get started. So in order to begin building this filter, what you first have to do is you have to download this face mesh and this is provided to you through the spark ar website and i can link that in the description below so click on that download that and then throw that file into photoshop so right now i have it on photoshop and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how i did this so first um here is the picture of this is the doodle I already did, and that's the one that's the example of the face filter I already have on. But in order to create a look, we first have to go to our brush. You could hit B for brush, that's the shortcut. And when you're doing a brush, make sure it's a hard rounded one, just so the edges are more crisp. So from there, I just did, I don't know, you can do whatever design you want. You can do like a squiggle some stars um what else clouds i don't know this is really bad though but that's kind of the basic you can change your color you can draw whatever you want i don't know what that is maybe that's a smiley face a cat perhaps some whiskers um i don't know whatever you want and so that's kind of the basic and neat little trick if you do a soft rounded brush and if you make it a little bigger um what this is good for is like a blush type of look um granted then you would turn down the opacity but for the sake of this tutorial it's just going to be really fast and quick so that's kind of it um, from there, what you'll do is, let's just say I finish this doodle and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to this, but essentially once you're done with your doodle, make sure you take that, the face mesh part and like knock down the opacity slash make it not visible and just export this as a PNG. this um let's create a new project all right so this is the new project and from there what you'll do is you'll add a face mesh and the face mesh already comes with the face tracker and from there, what we'll do is, let's go to materials. Let's add a material. So there's your material. And then from there, texture. So let's choose a file. Let's choose your texture. And that's where you insert. I'm just gonna do one. Um, this is where you insert your PNG file. And boom, there it is. And that's kind of it. That's the whole step of it. It's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. And from there, what I would do is I would go to edit properties. Make sure you have your quality on super high slash 100%. And this makes sure slash ensures that your face filter will be very crisp or as crisp as it can get. And yeah, from there you can play with the opacity, you can play with the shader type. Um, face paint is kind of cool, because you could it's like still kind of transparent and you can mess with the back. I think BG influence is just background influence, I could be wrong, but that's what I think it is, and yeah. So 
essentially you're pretty much done that's that's how you turn your doodles into a face mask or face filter um and from there just export this file and then when you click export it'll bring you to where you need to go and yeah let's try that let's do export save it as i'm just gonna call it untitled as are a lot of my files are called untitled. And then from there, it'll prompt you to open Spark AR. Do that and wait a little bit. Keep waiting. And from there, I'll bring you to the Spark AR Hub. The Spark AR Hub. So from there, it'll take you to the Spark AR Hub. Um, and then you just click Upload Effect, and then you just fill it out from there. It's pretty straightforward and super easy. And yeah, that's kind of the tutorial. And... Um, Hope you enjoyed this because this is super easy that's one of the quickest ways you can create your own face that's one of the quickest ways you can create your own face filter using your own doodles um yeah thanks for watching and see you around for the next video slash tutorial slash whatever it is i do